Oh, oh, we're starting. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hello, greetings once again. It's that time of the week again. Welcome back to Time Lords Poetry Christmas Corner. Am I saying it right? Poetry Christmas Corner? Christmas Poetry Corner. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. Greetings once again, and welcome back to Time Warlords Christmas Poetry Corner. That's better. Ah. Did someone call me? Ho, ho, ho. So, let me read more of the wonderful poems that I've been finding across the... in the North Pole. Um... Hopefully it's not as depressing as last week, so hopefully I'll get your smile, smiles back on your faces. There we go. Alright. Time for our next poetry. To do or not to do is the question. Hmm. It's very short. But let's see if I can do it slowly. I don't know. Let's just read it. If Christmas is to children, what my job is to me, does not mean I should go to my boss and sit upon his knee. If you're working and... Would you sit on your boss's knee? To get everything you want? Would you do it? Okay, now the next poetry is quite mysterious, so... See if you can figure this out. Mm -mm. Here goes nothing. Red ribbons in her hair and what she wears. Green lipstick on her big full lips. Fire in her eyes, oh yes she dares. Girl in the world, girl in your life. Not at home, full of strife. Is she lost, is she found? Is she just playing around? She is the Christmas girl astound. She is warm, she is cold. She is looking for Santa's gold. She's a girl of opportunity. Gold bells in her eyes, tattoos on her breasts, free spirit oblivious to the rest. Her heart is warm, her heart is cold, she just wants Santa's gold. She is the Christmas girl, so we're told. She is up, she is down, she roams all over the town. She has something up her sleeve. She approaches Santa's elves, they turn away, turn around. Behind their back, Santa's gold is found. Now she is gone, gold in hand, buying a ticket to sunny beaches sand. Goodbye, Christmas girl. <laughs> okay, our next poetry is something about an Elmo toy. Hmm, another short one, but... Interesting. Toy Elmo got drunk on Christmas Day. His laugh drove everyone nuts. We got the battery out of him so fast. In the matter of speaking, we tore out his guts. I think I better go. Okay, so that leaves us time for one more poetry. Seems we got two extremely short poetries. We expect a long poetry. You won't be disappointed with this one. Um, yeah, definitely. This will make you think about whether you drink a lot at Christmas, but, well, who knows. Anyway. Ah, oh, do excuse me. Looking through the window on Christmas morn, I see the family Christmas crowd. Molly, Aunt Sarah, Bob and Norm. From Cheers. Unloading their car while singing out loud. I come down the stairs all smiles and jolly, inviting them in and being all nice. What did I do to deserve this folly? Please, can I just re-roll the dice? What game are you playing? What if I tell them what I really think? That Molly is ugly and Aunt Sour really stinks. That the food is cold and I just want a drink. However I can't, I'm frozen like a sphinx. Emotionally in hell, but I will be nice. Laugh and talk with everybody. 
trying to be sweet as sugar and spice, but my mind is still on mine today. Oh, Toddy. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> Toddy me here, Toddy me there, Toddy me everywhere. Please can I just be me? I do not want to adhere. Really, I just want to flee. Oh, go on then. Blissfully soon, chatter is hazy. The wine is doing its thing. I'm drunk, happy, perhaps a bit crazy. My mind says goodbye and goes ding a ling. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I think... I think I actually accidentally had something a bit too much and I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I feel so uneasy. I can't even finish the video. Anyway. Ugh. Um. I don't know what I'm going to say now. Uh, is this the last episode? No. Uh. I think next week, I'm not sure. I'll see you next week. And uh, perhaps. I'm just going to go.